Okay, so here we are on the scratch page. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to create. And create a new project for our di dancing dino project. Dancing dinosaurs, dancing dinosaurs, dancing dinosaurs. That's sort of a little tongue twister. Dancing dinosaurs, dancing, dancing dinosaurs. Dancing dinos. Okay, so we want to get rid of this guy. Bye-bye. And we wanna go down here and we want to click choose a sprite. Now we are going to pick a dinosaur sprite that has four different costumes. So when we run through his costumes, it's going to look as if he's moving and dancing. Yay. Okay, so up here, in our search, we are gonna click D-I-N-O-S-A. You are dinosaur. And let's go ahead and choose this guy. So when I hover over him, I can see that he is moving. Fabulous. So I put him right there. Now I'm gonna put all the code in this guy and then I'm going to right click and duplicate two more of him. So it looks as if they're are three dinos dancing. So the first thing I am going to do though, is I'm gonna put a little code in him. So I am going to go over here to code and go to events. And then I'm gonna drag over when green flag is clicked. Then I'm gonna to go to control and I'm gonna drag over forever. Then I'm going to go to looks and I'm gonna do switch costume to A. I just like to go A, B, C, D. Now, if I do A, B, C, D all in a row, it will move so fast that my audience won't see him moving and dancing. So I have to put some weights in there. So I go to control and wait. Now, if I do one second, if I do one second, let me go in here a little bit. If I do one second, the dinosaur um, switching the different movements is gonna be way too slow and it's gonna look really bumpy. So instead of wait one second, I'm gonna put wait 0.3 seconds, okay? And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna right click right here and I'm gonna do duplicate. And then I'm gonna put that block again right below my first block, but instead of um, switch costume to dinosaur A, I'm gonna switch it to B. Okay, so you see what I did there? And he's already moving for me. He's already shaking his tail feather, right? Okay, so I wanna go ahead and right here hover and then right click with my mouse or my keypad and hit duplicate. And then drag that underneath. And looky there, now he's kicking his little leg. Fabulous. I'm gonna click out. And I'm gonna hover over dinosaur B and choose that dinosaur C. And we have one more costume to choose from. And I can tell that because one, two, three, four different looks. So I hover over C, right click, hit duplicate, put it right there. And instead of C, I choose D. So I have A, B, C, D. And look at him go. Oh, look how cute he looks when he's dancing. Fabulous. Okay, now um, I am gonna come over here and right click and hit duplicate. So now I have two of them and they're sort of on top of each other. So I'm gonna move the next one right there. Now I'm gonna go right here, right click, duplicate. And there's my third one. So I'm gonna put them over here. Okay, so now all of them, have the capability 
of looking like this dancing guy, I just have to put some code behind them. So I go to Dinosaur 2. Okay. Now all of them are able to dance and kick their legs and open their mouths because they all have the same code. So they can all be dancing to the same little song. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to put in a nice backdrop. So I go over here to backdrop in my uh, bottom right hand corner of my screen. I click choose a backdrop. And in my search bar, I'm going to put dance. And it brings up this spotlight background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is sort of like a runway, and here are some chairs, and here are some speakers. There's the spotlight and different um, lights that it's, you know, sort of like we're pretending can go into the stage. So I'm going to bring the dinosaurs, I'm going to spread them out a little bit. One dinosaur is going to be like on a little platform here. And then they're all going to be dancing. Fabulous, fabulous. Now. Everything looks really good, but we're missing one important piece of this, and that is our sounds. So I'm going to have a sound run through the entire piece. Okay, so the very last piece of code that we need to put into our dinos dancing is the sound. So um, this. Um, Dino dancing already, um, this project already came with the pop sound, which is just this. Let's put that up so you can hear it. Okay, so it's just like a little pop sound. So we're going to get rid of that because we want a nice dance beat for them to dance to. So in the bottom left hand corner of our screen, go ahead and click choose a sound. And in the search bar, let's go ahead and type dance. And let's fool around with these a little bit. So let's listen. I like that one. That one's a little funky. Let's see what this one is. Let's go ahead and choose dance around. Okay, so here it is in our, um, in our sounds. So let's go back into our code and it doesn't matter which of the dinosaurs codes that we choose. What we wanna do is we wanna say, hey, when um, these guys, when the green flag is clicked, start playing the song that Dinosaurs will start moving when the green flag is clicked and forever they're going to be switching through their costumes and making it look as if they're dancing. So the same concept we need for our music. So when green flag is clicked, go to sound and let's do play sound until done, which is fine but the dinos are going to be dancing forever. So maybe we need a forever in there to match. So I go to my orange control. I'll grab my um, forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put my forever here. So we have our sound actually matching our costume changing. So forever, our dinosaurs are going to be switching through their costumes and quote unquote dancing and forever our song is going to be playing. So let's go ahead and full screen and play.